South Africa has around 5,000 native Tsiji volunteers. Although the majority of them are Christian, their faith has not interfered with their involvement in the Buddhist NGO as they work to care for the victims of HIV AIDS in South Africa. In the next story, we catch up with more South African volunteers at the overseas training seminar where they topped up on Master Jinyan's teachings to take back home. Returning for a second visit to Taiwan is Tol Kilim Kize, a 73-year-old former minister and now a committed Tsiji volunteer. They just want to talk and like that, they talk and do the action. That's why I agree to join that to be a good event. In South Africa, Toloki Lim Kize and other ethnic Zulu volunteers travel to villages to care for and feed AIDS victims. Although the majority of them are Christian, they see no conflict between their faith and the work of Tsiji. Many of our volunteers are preachers or shamans. In their churches, they speak of heart of the Buddha and the Master's words, in the actualization of Buddhist doctrines in daily life, and the Bodhisattva ideal in residence. How could there be a conflict with Christian beliefs? Another South African volunteer, Brenda Matebula, is relishing the opportunity to learn as much as she can from her Taiwanese hosts before returning to South Africa to spread the love even further. Every time when we are coming here to see our master and learning more and more about our master's teachings, when we are going back, we're trying a little bit harder to do the way as we are teaching here. So that's why we are, we are here to learn. Once we got what we are learning, we take it back to South Africa, then we are doing the same mission as our master is telling us to do. Wearing Tiji's distinctive white and blue, the South African volunteers will soon return home to spread the seeds of love and bring a chance of rebirth to even the most arid regions of the heart.